Auto Fight Fans, Seattle Mike, Fights with Friends here. Everybody, please hit that like button or I will glue your eyelids open and make you watch every Ben Askren fight ever. Make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to double tap that bell so you're notified whenever we drop a new video or go live like this Saturday for a UFC with a main event of light heavyweights, Anthony Lionheart Smith and Ryan Superman Span. Followed immediately by Bellator Yoel Romero versus Mr. Wonderful Phil Davis. Uh, guys, the last couple years have been very interesting for prize fighting. A lot of the biggest purses have not been in title fights. Uh, you can go to boxing, of course, with Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Uh, last week's Triller card with Anderson Silva, Tito Ortiz, and Vitor Belfort. But let's stick with the UFC and talk about the BMF title, uh, which made a ton of money for Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal. Uh, and I really want to talk about Jorge Masvidal, how he became so popular in 2019. A lot of people had him as fighter of the year. Uh, of course, had the five-second knockout UFC record of Ben Askren, a uh, knockout of Darren Till uh, and uh, that uh, stoppage of Nathan Diaz. Uh, just an incredible year for him. But one of the things that a lot of people were talking about uh, most was not inside of the cage. It was outside of the cage. And it was the introduction of the theme three-piece in a soda or the saying three-piece in a soda. Of course, this was... Uh, after Jorge Masvidal landed a three-punch combination on Leon Edwards during an interview outside of the cage. Now, there was a tremendous amount of hype around this. Leon Edwards has not lost in several years, coming off a victory himself uh, against Nate Diaz. And... Um, you know, I don't know how if he's made a ton of money, but the guy just uh, lately does not lose. Um, he, he, he cannot lose. He almost got stopped by Nate, though. Or uh, at least he did get hit with a pretty good shot. Maybe that was overplayed a little bit. But you would think, hey, this guy wants to make money. This guy wants to make money. And we just seen Dustin Poirier step uh, aside to not fight Charles Oliveira for the title shot because... Dana White said to him, everybody said, hey, the money is in the corner fight. You're going to make more money. And he did. I would argue for Leon Edwards that a fight against Jorge Masvidal is uh, probably more lucrative or possibly more lucrative uh, than a fight uh, against a dominant champion, Kamara Usman, that really doesn't sell a lot of pay-per-views. Uh, unfortunately, I believe for him, Leon Edwards disagrees with me. And, uh, guys, I don't know about you, uh, but when I read this today, my mind was absolutely blown. Uh, Leon Edwards gifted a money fight. He just came out the fight with Nate Diaz. Now he's going to get this fight with Jorge Masvidal. What does he say? Uh, it says he has zero interest in fighting Jorge Masvidal next, according to BJPenn.com. Uh, he says, I don't want to hear nothing about a guy coming off of a two-fight skit. Sounds honorable. But you only get a fight for so many years, boys and girls. UFC welterweight contender Leon Edwards has said he has no interest in fighting Jorge Masvidal with his eyes firmly fixed on the title. Ever since his unanimous decision win over Nate Diaz earlier this year, uh, fans have been questioning what the next step will be for Edwards. Some feel as if he needs to fight one more time before getting a crack at Kamara Usman, whereas others are of the belief that he's done enough to sit it out and wait for his moment to shine in a title fight. I could argue he's done enough, but win or lose, this seems like a massive payday. Um, or it should be. Maybe he's playing his cards close to his chest and he's waiting for the UFC to offer more money. That's what I'm going to hope for. Uh, Leon Rocky Edwards said, My next fight will be for the world title. I don't want to have nothing, hear nothing about a guy coming off a two-fight skid and got KO'd in his last fight. I mean, yeah, those things are true. But he says, My next fight will be for the world title. Um, these men have a clear history with one another, stemming all the way back to 2019 UFC London. 
Imagine if this fight's in London. Imagine if it's in Florida. I, I mean, this fight sells all day. They've already done the promo for it. I, I mean, will we ever see Leon Edwards versus Jorge Masvidal? I, at this point, it sounds like, um, you know, the best chance of us seeing that fight is if Leon Edwards defeats the winner of Kamar Usman and Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal gets an automatic title shot or a mandatory title shot. And I don't know if I see any of those things happening. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you upset or frustrated that Leon Edwards uh, did not take this fight? Let me know down there in the comments below. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your finances next time.